we are given the equation x divided by 2 raised to the power 6 equals 3 raised to the power 6. Just by looking at this equation, tell me how many different values or roots of x will we get? Yes, you are right. We will get not 1, not 2, not 3, but 6 different values of x because of this 6 in the exponent. Thus our mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find all the six roots of x. So, can you solve it? Okay, as a first step, we need to understand what it means to raise a fraction to a power. Using this rule of exponents, when we have a fraction inside brackets and raise it to an exponent, we apply the exponent to both the numerator and denominator separately. This means x divided by 2 raised to the power. 6 is the same as x raised to the power 6 divided by 2 raised to the power 6. Now we want to remove the fraction. To do this, we multiply both sides by 2 raised to the power 6. This gives us x raised to the power 6 equals 2 raised to the power 6 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 6. Next, we will use another exponent rule a raised to the power n multiplied by b raised to the power n equals a multiplied by b whole raised to the power n. Applying this to our equation, we see that 2 to the 6 multiplied by 3 to the 6 is the same as 2 times 3 raised to the power 6 or 6 to the power 6. Now, take this on the left-hand side to get x raised to the power 6 minus 6 raised to the power 6 equals 0. Now, here comes the real magic. We will use another exponent rule, which is a raised to the power m times n can also be written as a raised to m whole raised to n. Now, 6 can be written as 3 times 2, so this can be written as x cube whole square, and similarly, this can be written as 6 cube whole square. Hey, do you notice that our equation is a difference of squares? The difference of squares formula states that if we have something like a squared minus b squared, it can be rewritten as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Now we can apply the formula by setting a as x raised to the power 3 and b as 6 raised to the power 3. So this becomes the x cube minus 6 cube multiplied by x cube plus 6 cube equals 0. Noise. At this point, we have factored the original equation into two simpler expressions, so we solve each one separately. First, we look at x cube minus 6 cube. This is a difference between cubes. The difference of cubes states that if we have a cube minus b cube, it can be rewritten as a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. Setting a as x and b as 6, we apply the formula and rewrite it as x minus 6 multiplied by x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared, or 36 equals 0. The first term, x minus 6, gives the solution as x equals 6. For solving this quadratic equation, today I will show you a nice and simple method to solve this equation. We have the sum of the roots equal to minus 6, and therefore the average of the roots equal to minus 6 over 2 or minus 3. Thus, the roots of this equation will be minus 3 minus u and minus 3 plus u. Now, the product of the roots equals 36, but it is also equal to this times this, or minus 3 whole square minus u square. This becomes 9 minus u square equals 36, and thus u square equals 9 minus 36, or minus 27. Thus u equals root of this, or root of 27 times minus 1, which will be 3 root 3 times this will be i, or the imaginary number. Therefore the roots of this equation are minus 3, minus 3, root 3i, and minus 3 plus 3 root 3i. If you are wondering how I solved this quadratic equation, then I have made a video for the same, and the link is in the description. 
go check it out, but only after completing this video. Next, we will solve for x cube plus 6 cube equals 0 using the sum of cubes formula, which states that a cube plus b cube equals a plus b multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared. Setting a as x and b as 6, we get x plus 6 multiplied by x squared minus 6, x plus 6 squared, or 36 equals 0. The first term, x plus 6, gives the solution as x equals minus 6. Then solving this quadratic equation, we find the roots as 3 plus 3 square root of 3 times i, and 3 minus 3 root, 3 times i. Thus, the six solutions to the given equation is x equals all these and that's it. Now, for those who are introduced with complex numbers, can you solve the same using roots of unity method and provide you answer in the comments? Also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good!